friends and hello fellow vintage lovers. I'm going to try to film. Um, I am at my favorite antique mall. I haven't been here since I moved. Um, you know, this is on the way to Dallas. It's not too far from my house, but you know, being so close to Canton, I haven't really had to source, um, you know, in the Dallas area. So I'm really excited to go here. Um, I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can. I'm also in a bit of a rush because we do have this snowstorm coming. Um, and they're in, or ice storm. What are they calling it? A, a polar vortex. Who knows? But um, it's all anyone can talk about. And they're saying that um, it's going to be really bad. So I wanted to go ahead and pick up a few new things to show you guys. I do have a sale tomorrow on Sabrina's channel. Simon says, let's make a deal. I did put that up on my community page. So you have a direct link to the sale there. Uh, we'll be on at 6 Eastern, 5 Central, 3 Pacific. Hope to see you guys then. And hopefully I'll be able to get some footage inside for you guys. I'm excited to be here. Hey guys, so this ended up being more of a, this is what Kat wants to buy than a shop along. Um, I did have limited time, so I kind of just stopped and recorded things that I love, like this antique Thai monk statue. Um, it is absolutely incredible. Um, I'm sorry about the focus in this booth. I was trying to fix it as I was showing um, things to you guys. That was like um, a picnic basket. What I really wanted to show you was all of this antique and vintage lace. Oh my gosh, what a dream for anyone who sews or crafts. Um, there were a lot of industrial items in this booth and it's not really my, my niche. So I didn't really film a lot other than those pictures. I was trying to make sure it was focused right there, so I apologize. Some cast iron. Um, really cool stuff if that's something you're interested in. Um, I am interested in it. I just have to learn more about it. Uh, that taxidermy um, Canadian goose was cool. Those frames are incredible. Um, unfortunately, they were out of my price range. This Victorian mirror, uh, there I am saying hello. Um, that was a fine porcelain bowl. I did not pick it up. It was massive, so I don't know um, where it was from. There's some pretty lusterware. This lamp is everything. I do believe I showed you guys the price on it. Yeah, $4.75. I don't believe there were any discounts on, in this booth if it was marked firm. Okay, I'm really interested in this. I may come back for this at some point. Um, so this is a Capodimonte um, pitcher and bowl, and I love the design. I think I focus on it here in a minute, but look at these human faces on animal bodies. Um, they're kind of like griffins with human heads. I stopped to film these doggies. That bulldog reminded me of Dana. Hello, Dana Grace, if you're watching. Um, I just thought it would be cute to film them. They were priced too high for me to resell, but they're amazing figurines, all different breeds. So, so cute. Okay, I thought this picture um, of Jesus was just gorgeous. I love the frame. I love the print. Um, amazing. Sorry for the background noise there. Oh, this picture. So this was, I think it was from the 90s. I did look it up. Um, it's made by Wilton. I just love the design. These are always cool. I believe it was probably too high for me to get. I really did want to, though. Uh, yeah, 14. Um, but those thermometers are just awesome. There were no discounts in that booth. Um, that looked like it was missing its lid, um, but it was really cool mid-century piece of pottery. I saw a lot of lamps this trip. I did end up, oh, that knocker is amazing. Uh, they were calling it a dragon. I couldn't tell if it was a dragon or more of like a green man, but it is amazing. They had some beautiful glass here. I did end, no, that's not the piece I picked up. I did end up getting um, an amber bottle with a stopper that's really pretty. I'm just showing you guys some of the beautiful glass. 
I only got about a third of the way through the antique mall um, during this time. I was there for two and a half hours. Um, it's, it's massive. Um, I do plan on going back soon. There were some things that I wanted. I ended up going back there yesterday, which would have been Saturday, to pick up some furniture um, for my house, for our animals. Okay, this fiberglass TV lamp is amazing. Um, the problem is I wasn't sure if I wanted to ship it. It is very heavy, the glass top is. Um, it was a pretty good price too. I think it was around 60. Um, I would love it for me, but I don't want to ship it. But I did show it to Rick yesterday. I was like, look at that, it's amazing. That piece of pottery was really interesting. I couldn't quite figure out what it was for. Um, there was some, oh, this fairy lamp. So this is Viking. Um, the problem with this fairy lamp is, first of all, it's a pretty good price, right? Um, it's an anniversary fairy lamp. And, you know, you got to find the exact right customer for that unless somebody is just collecting Viking. Um, I believe it was 20th anniversary. So it'd be great to, you know, buy if you're celebrating an anniversary, but I don't know what people collect that normally. That slag glass um, hen on nest is gorgeous. I love it. And it was priced at 59 as you see there. Um, I did end up getting a few things, but most items were out of my price range. I was just having fun looking at what I wanted. Um, and these Lucite grapes are amazing. Um, I do have some amber grapes, but I don't have purple. Um, but yeah, I wasn't going to buy that for myself today. I'd have to sell the amber ones first. <laughs> Running out of room. It's a thing. That bottle was pretty. That cookie jar. Just showing off some of the gorgeous glass here. Oh, I loved that. Um, I believe that was going to go. I might be wrong, but um, it just says, yeah, tall bottle with stopper. Um, it is tall. It's like three or four feet tall. Um, and it's amethyst glass, which is my favorite. But I was trying to be good. I love that lamp. Um, you know, the, the, the classical Roman or Greek soldier there that's kind of my thing those lamps are cool too look at these lamps y'all oh my gosh the one on the left is italian and it's alabaster hopefully i show it to you i just love the base on that yes really 68 dollars is not bad for that um i just love it Oh, this guys this is East Lake um, so it was East Lake was in production from the 1870s to the late 1890s I believe it is in excellent condition I love it I cried when I saw it I sent pictures to Rick I was like I must have this uh, we just are not in a position right now to be buying uh, expensive pieces of furniture but look at it look at the knobs the pole. They're phenomenal. Um, these were a couple of Victorian prints that I love. Again, guys, this is a lot of prints that I wanted to buy that I was interested in the film. Um, just beautiful. There's a floral print. Um, well, I think I feel it. Let's see, I do. This carriage. So it had already sold when I went back yesterday. It was gone. Um, this wicker. Victorian food carriage is amazing. It is in such good condition. I've seen a few of these here and there and they are never like this. Um, $300, not bad. Not bad at all. So somebody got that and flipped it. Hopefully yeah. someone who collects um, or interior designers or something like that. A lot of interior designers can shop at this mall. I've met a few there over the years. Oh, this is George Briard, guy look at this coffee pot look at it um, it was 95 um, worth every penny but I just had to show it to you oh my gosh I love this pottery 
it is gorgeous. It, this is quintessential. It's century. No, I can't remember the maker. It's on the tags. Um, look at that. That here is gorgeous. I wanted to show you this case of uranium. There's a couple of vendors there that do this. But look at all of the uranium. Oh my gosh. Absolutely gorgeous. There was a large bowl that I wanted to get the price on. Um, but I tried to reach it and it was tall. I was afraid I might drop it or break something. So I put it back down. Um, but like I said, I plan on going back very soon. There were a few things that I would like to pick up. Um, at some point, I just had to get myself the yeah, it is. Um, it's two keys. It's like a console bowl, and I was just afraid. Because I'm a shorty. Look at this loose side butterfly table. Um, it has butterflies. It has peacock feathers. Um, I think it was 175 which is not bad for that piece. Um, but it is just so cool. Okay, so I spotted this. I was like, oh my gosh, it's Hager. It has to be. Yes, indeed, guys. It is Royal Hager. Again to control myself I absolutely love that look at the shape look at the color um, this table is phenomenal I love figural tables like this um, I, I don't have a place for it in my house but I would love to get it uh, there are some blow molds on the left that were I think the candy cane was around 50 or 60 however the snowman um, was priced you know as it should be and again I'm not really sure I would want to ship those but how cool to still have them after Christmas this is the last thing these owl canister sets oh my gosh if I didn't have my mushroom set I may have seriously considered these but I passed okay and then here is some more glass I was trying to show you guys these frames look at the frames and look at the lamps too oh that stand was so cool um, it had a brass base and a lucite um, stand on top and i'm showing you some of the pictures i have that lamp if anyone is interested in that lamp i have it look at this one gorge i love the metal I think I showed the price. So guys, there will be a haul coming up after this. Um, I can't wait to show you the items I got to get a few things for me. Um, but the rest will be available in my live sale uh, coming up later on today. Hello guys. So welcome to the haul. Um, we are kind of having emergency conditions here. In East Texas, it's snowing. It's, I think, 11 degrees. Um, we have a branch coming down. It's just, like, really bad. Um, unfortunately, this is probably one of the best hauls I have ever had. This is all from um, the shopping trip that I videoed part of. Um, I'm going to go over these really fast. I have a sale today on Simon Says Let's Make a Deal's channel. It is on my community tab. It's at 2 Eastern, 1 Central, 11 a.m. Pacific. Uh, some of these items will be available at that sale. As usual, if you see something you're interested in, you can always reach out to me. Um, some of these items I might not show until my Valentine's sale next week. But um, yeah, I hope you guys can join me. Go Cowboys. Here comes probably my greatest haul. Um, this is a California pottery uh, trinket dish. It is absolutely adorable. Mid-century. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. I got two ashtrays uh, with the animal families. I have never seen the elephants before. Um, they're both in excellent condition. The elephants have the chains. The horses don't have their chains anymore, but there's no chipping and no damage. Um... Let's see here. I didn't even flip these over yet. Can't read it. It's called Off We Go. Adorable. 
The elephant is West Pet Japan. I don't know that company, but how freaking cute. Okay, back here. This is the piece de resistance. You know what? I'm going to save this for the end because I'm going to move everything and show you that up close. Um, in here in the back, excuse my shipping items back there. Um, I've got a package I need to, to box up today. But um, this back here is handcrafted and it is made in India, this candelabra. It fits pillar candles as well as taper. It has these gorgeous red glass um, balls on them. This, oh, M G. So this is a wood purse. It's like a travel themed purse. It has Egyptian and Indian um, decor on it. It has a lucite handle. It is absolutely phenomenal. Let me show you the sides. Look at that flamingo <laughs> or peacock. I'm sorry. That is a peacock. Let me show you the back. I just have to. It has a Taj Mahal. It has the Acropolis, it looks like. It's got all of these amazing features on it. Look at the handle. There is a little bit of sticker residue, guys. I think because it's so cold in my house, I can't get it all off even with the hairdryer. So um, anything I sell with sticker residue, I will make sure it goes comes off before I ship the item to you. Um, I got these cute handmade uh, headbands because I thought they were adorable. Kind of boho goes with the purse. Uh, this is Empoli, gorgeous piece. Um, I thought it would be great uh, for Valentine's Day or any time of the year. I got this Tierra Indiana glass butter dish, gorgeous. Um, this is Blanco, I do believe, this amber bottle. I have not tested that with a black light, but I don't think it glows, but who knows. This back here, so this was a gift. Rick got me this needlepoint um, owl picture keeping that behind it is a record crate that we got for ourselves we also got some furniture yesterday we're having to move all of our reptile family um, into um, our room actually where there is a gas heater we live in a very old house and we got to make sure they stay warm during this crazy weather um, it i can't believe it but it's actually snowing here um this tonala ewer is absolutely gorgeous. It has this yellow bird on it. It is tall. It's fantastic. I don't think I've ever, I may have sold one of these before. Um, this is an older piece of tonala or old Mexican pottery. I love this bowl. There is a little bit of paint, or actually natural um, dye loss um, on the bowl, which is common when you find these. This is probably for us. I got this turtle stool that I'm thinking about putting in my 70s kitchen. It is so freaking cute. I think that might glow. I got two frog shakers. I got some Tonala owls. Um, this one I am keeping. It's actually a jar. I don't think I have any Tonala owl jars. Um, then I got this white owl with this really pretty design there on the back. Um, this is Jeanette glass and it is pink milk glass. It is gorgeous. Um, this normally does have a top. It's like a candy dish. I went ahead and got it anyway because um, pink milk glass is very collectible, and I think it's beautiful for your Valentine display. Um, I got these two amazing eggs. This one is um, made by the Chrysler Sisters um, in Pennsylvania in 1975. It's got these really pretty birds on it. It's so cute. Then I got this lacquer egg as well. I'm not sure if this would be Japan. I think it's probably Japan. It has no markings on it, but it's really pretty. Love those irises. And there's a butterfly on top. Um, oh, I got this trinket box. This is so cute, y'all. Um, this purse trinket box with this courting couple on it. Um, I got this uh, piece of decor. This is chalkware. I have sold um, a couple of these before. It's painted to look like wood grain, but it is chalkware and it's century decor there. Um, I got this trinket dish just because I thought it would be adorable to have on display for Valentine's or any time of the year. This is phenomenal. Um, there is sticker residue still on that. This is a, a very old picture. It's probably vintage. I don't think that it's antique, but I haven't 
um, looked into that yet. I got some jewelry and I got these adorable Valentine ornaments. Um, I did pick up four of these. Um, these are modern, but somebody printed them off um, and put them on wood. Um, I love them. I'm hoping to go back and get more of these if she has some. They're adorable. Look at that elephant. Then I picked up, gosh, this is the fastest haul I've ever done. Two modern necklaces. This one has crystals dangling from it. And this one I do believe is unikite. It looks like unikite to me. Um, it's on kind of this torque style um, snake chain necklace. But look at that, y'all. Really, really cool. And then I got this angel tree topper. Um, I know it's not Christmas anymore, but I just thought she was precious. Um, she is rubber. Is she not adorable? Okay, guys, sorry for the super fast haul. I was trying to get this out before the sale. Um, I hope you can join us. Everyone, please stay safe and stay warm and stay healthy. Um, the weather is no joke. This flu is no joke. Um, I'm sure you can tell by my voice I'm doing a lot better now. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and comment. Okay, guys, I almost forgot. This is what I wanted to show you. This elicited gasps from people as I was checking out at the antique mall. Um, this is Rose Lane. It is a console bowl. Um, I have done a little bit of research on it, and I could not find this piece. Um, I need to activate my worth point again, perhaps, but um, I could not let this go. Um, this is a console dish. It would have sat on top of an old school television or you know, a table, wherever you want it to be. But it has these four amazing flamingos. They are in excellent condition. There is no damage on this piece whatsoever. Um, I had to get it. I couldn't leave this behind. So, oh my gosh. But people were complimenting me as I was checking out. They were like, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. It's breathtaking, and I was like, I know. I've never seen anything like it. Um, phenomenal. The colors, everything. No chips, no cracks on this piece whatsoever. Someone loved it. Okay, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.